hi guys welcome to another video on fewer nails on youtube yes as i said summer is in the air bright colors are popping everywhere so i'll be doing another video using these beautiful bright colors beautiful shocking green la colors shocking pink from lynn beautiful radiant bright bsn yellow my top and base coat and of course my cotton candy caption triple effect top effects i just love it and i'm gonna pop a little rhinestone somewhere today yeah so bling bling let's see where the rhinestone will go in my previous video i remember i showed you these things that grandma bought for me yes if you're a regular viewer you would know these so today i will be using some to do some french tips and the french tips will be in the shocking colors so let's see how that's going to turn out i haven't used any as yet this is my first time pulling the packet and i think i'm going to use these yeah this one right here the half a moon half a circle yes i'm going to use this to try and get some tips with each color so wish me luck guys as always always apply your base coat first and remember clean straight strokes if you can't make it all to the end in one stroke that's fine but just try to make it straight that way you wouldn't leave out any corners or any section now i'll apply my cotton candy to all the nails i just love to see the top coat on them <laughs> just looks so clean and nice so i'll apply my cotton candy and remember the cotton candy has a little glitter of all different colors so you know it gives it a shimmer effect so even if i don't use any of my glitter or my shimmer this does have its own shimmer which is just as good there you go and this can be worn by itself too so i'll apply this to all nails from cuticle to tip there you go clean straight lines or strokes clean straight strokes You'd be amazed how many persons don't know how to polish a nail. So here, after this video, you should do beautiful, clean polishes on your finger. There you have it. And the last one. There you go. Now, of course, since I'll be applying my strips, I have to give my nails time to dry or when i'm taking off the strips it would be a disaster and i wouldn't want that to happen neither would you so let us give the nails time to dry while i select the strips that i'll be using all right so now i'm gonna remove my strips And as I said, I'm going to use them to make a fringe with a little twist, I would add. So, take off the strip. And I'll apply, I'm not going to apply it to all nails. So I'll apply it to the tip of this one, the thumb. So that's the first part. And then I'll apply another part. When I apply another strip, same thumb, I want to take in some more, right? So as I said, it would be a 
tip with a twist so that's how i've applied my tips and i'll add one color here another color here okay so i'll be doing it to the thumb and the index finger maybe the little finger we'll see okay so i'm going to begin with my yellow my beautiful bright yellow see how beautiful that is so i'll just apply it to the tip and when you're using these paper tips you stop the drawing where the line starts so that way you'll get that pattern the circular shape so you come all the way around and of course it's going to need time to dry so that's for the yellow i'll also do the same so i'm going to do the tip yellow as well remember do not pass the line the paper or you might lose a pattern and mess up the other section so that's the tip the yellow pretty yellow <clears throat> there you have the yellow now i'll move on to my pink my shocking pink now the pink will go where the next paper is and be careful not to go over to the yellow section because we don't want them to interact like that we want the difference to be seen between the two colors the whole idea is that when I take off the paper, the edges will be circular. Next finger. And as I said, yes, you have to leave them to dry. So that's the yellow and the pink. Coming on quite nicely, if I might say so myself. As for the green, I'll be using a little brush to help me. Where I'll apply the green to the end of the brush. And then I'm going to use it to make some strokes coming out this side. And we know how the green works already. We have to give it more than one application to get this the color that we want or the shade that we want. So it's a bit dull, but uh, as I said, we know what we're working with. So we just have to keep applying until we get the desired shade. Keep applying it out, just stroking it out like that. And don't press too hard on the polish the finger because you don't want to trouble the pink at the bottom there you are coming on nicely let it sit for a while dry and then reapply the green okay so let's remove the paper hopefully it's dry enough and see what we have So one piece removed another piece if you notice all my pink came off but that's what happens sometimes depending on the polish so instead of having the three colors I only have two but that can be rectified in a breeze I can use my same pink and just fill in the space I might not get the same desired design i worked for but i'll still get my three colors so i'll just fill in the space with the pink for the section that is missing see this is what they say take to and make fashion there you have it so even though my pink had came off with the paper I was still able to create a nice design and I think this even looks better than the paper one <laughs> now we have a saying take spoil make style so my nails aren't spoiled at all I'm gonna add some yellow to the top now to finish off my rainbow effect my summer look
there you have it clean smooth finishes and as I said earlier on I was going to add my rhinestone somewhere in here and I think I'll add the rhinestone while it is still wet so that it will stick to the nail so taking up my rhinestone I'm gonna pop it in the pink right in the center right oops Oopsie daisy. These are some big rhinestones, so I don't think I need more than one. See? And if you love bling, you can add more than one. But we have some people who aren't really that fussy. And one is fine, maybe even none. So it goes to your preference as always so I'll add another one Ch -ch 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 -ching. and the last rhinestone go in the yellow there we have it apply your top coat and you're done and here we have our finished rainbow fingers for the summer Bright sunny yellow, shocking pink, and shocking green. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe to Fooey Nails on YouTube. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, subscribe to Fooey Nails on YouTube.